Hello everyone, my name is Aiden Meza. I'm a second year student studying English and political science. Today on 940 feet, I am joined by Professor uh, Nikolai Alvarado from Geography. Thank you so much for joining me today, Professor Alvarado. Thank you, thank you for inviting me. All right, so what do you teach? I teach two introductory courses in geography, uh, geographies of globalization and social and environmental issues. And I also teach an upper division course called Migration in the City. Oh, nice. So, what is your research experience? Um, my research lies uh, within what can be referred to as migrant urbanism. So I try to understand migration from the perspective of the city or urban processes, and I try to understand the city or urban space from the perspective of migration. Specifically within that, I um, look at political strategies of migrants um, to secure urban rights. Now, my research takes place in Costa Rica, and we're talking here about Nicaraguan migrants living in informal settlements there. So I'm just trying to find, uh, understand these, you know, migrant state relationships that develop in these contexts and, you know, alternative forms of recognition that are not mediated through citizenship. Mm -hmm. Nice. I always loved learning about that in high school, especially like urbanization, moving to the suburbs as well. So what do you find most fascinating about geography as a field of study? In my view, geography is an interdisciplinary field. Um, so it lies at the intersection between human society and physical processes of the earth and the environment. So you, you have geographers who, uh, whose work align more with the physical and the natural sciences and geographers like myself who dwell in, dwell in the social and humanistic fields. And so I think that gives geography a broad perspective or the tools to understand many, many issues. Now, if you add to that um, the fact that geography is the pioneering discipline in geographic information science or GIS and the explosion of geospatial data today that we produce, I mean, geography uh, provides a bunch of very unique tools to understand the world. Yeah, so with everything going on in the world, why study geography? Like, why is it especially important right now? Well, I'm gonna answer from the perspective of a, a, an urban geographer, so I'm a little biased, but if you think about it, the majority of the world's population lives in urban areas. And the world is urbanizing fast, right? You have regions like Central America and Sub-Saharan Africa and parts of Asia that are urbanizing rapidly. So. Basically, we're talking about urbanization at a planetary scale. And so you need to be able to understand the challenges of that. If you think of urban informality or environmental challenges that come with cities and these kinds of things, I mean, geography is vibrant and it's well positioned to understand these issues. Of course, a physical geographer will give you another list of, um, of very important reasons. And you know, yeah. a GIS or will give you some other ones. Of course. So what's a project you've been working on that you're now excited about? Actually, this week, uh, with a colleague from the Department of Urban and Regional Planning, Magdalena Novoa, we started this initiative called the Latin American and Caribbean Cities Collective. And basically, we're putting you know, our energy together here to create a space where we can collaborate and discuss and reflect about the multiple forms of urbanization and urbanisms that take place in Latin America. And if you think about it, uh, Latin America is the second most urbanized region in the world. So. Uh, we're talking here about the life of the majority of Latin Americans. Yeah, that seems like really important. It seems like really exciting as well. Yeah. So describe U of I in three words. Um, I would say diverse. I would say community. And for sure, I would say academic excellence. Yes. Those, I know that's two words, but... <laughs> no, totally fine. So what's one piece of advice you'd give yourself, your 18-year-old self? I would say uh, from very early on, surround yourself with mentors that can guide you through this process, that can serve as inspiration, especially if you're a first time college student uh, like myself, right? And perhaps you lack the resources um, and, and those who can guide you. Finding mentors uh, is vital for you to be mm -hmm. successful. Yes, it really is. It's really helped me out a lot personally as well. Yeah. So, real question now is coffee or tea? And where would you get it? 100% coffee. You should get it in Costa Rica, but if you can't, you uh, here you can get it at Cafe Paradiso, I would say. Nice. I'm gonna have to check that one out because yeah. I love myself some coffee. All right, so what's your favorite U of I memory? 
I've been here for a very short time since the fall of 2020, but uh, I would say the fall of 2021 when we came back from you know a virtual year and this this campus came to life. That mm. was uh, that was very exciting. Of course. And then who is another faculty member member at U of I whose work has captured you? Uh, based on my area of research, I think the work of Asif Bayat in the Department of uh, Sociology um, definitely has inspired a lot of my my work and uh, helped me advance my own ideas about you know everyday politics and these kinds of things. Yeah. And then finally, the best question: orange or blue? I like both, but I'm gonna stay with the one that reminds me of the planet. So blue. Blue. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining me today, Professor Alvarado. Thank you. And thank, thank you, you guys me. so much for joining me in 940 feet.